Hello and welcome to a new video. Let's get back to this function cube volume. And this time I want to call it with argument equal to, then I would like to print the variable volume from here, okay? When I run this, notice that I get name error volume is not defined. However, you can see that we have volume up here. So how come volume is not actually defined? Let's go over the execution. What actually happens when you run this cell? So we agree that you'll start from this line and two will be stored inside side length. So what you have is you have side length equal to, then you have volume equal to two to power three. Okay, now inside the memory, of the computer, what you have is the following. You have side length is two and you have volume is eight, okay? Then you have the return statement, okay? Which will take eight and give it back down here. We said also return statement does one more thing which is it exits the function okay so if you exit the function all variables created inside the function will be deleted okay so all variables created inside the function will be deleted side length will be gone volume will be gone so after you finish with the function you try to read volume from memory but there is no such variable called volume what is actually happening here is volume is only defined inside the function. It's only defined inside the function. So here it's not defined. It's only defined inside the body of the function. We call volume a local variable. It is local to the function itself. We say also the scope of volume is the function cube volume. The scope is the place of the code where the variable is defined. So what is the scope of volume? The scope is the definition of the function cube volume. Now, let's take another example. Assume you have a function called fun1, and this has a variable a equal to three, and you print a, and you have fun2, it also has a variable a equal five, print a. Now, in each of these function, a is totally different variable, it's totally independent variable. A here is only defined for fun1 and A here is only defined for fun2. Each one of them is a local variable. They don't affect each other. Now let's assume you are having this variable A equal to 5. Then you have a function fun and you write A equal to 7. Okay then you will print a and i will add additional string here i will say inside fun now outside the function i will print a and put the additional string before calling fun and i will set I will call fun here and I will print again after calling fun. So what we are doing here is the following. We have variable a equal five. We have function with a variable a equals fn. Then we are printing the variable inside the function. Then I'm printing a, I'm printing, I'm calling fun, I'm printing a again. Now, 
When I run this, see the output. Before calling fun, A was five, before calling fun. So this value is coming from this, right? Inside fun, A equal to seven, which is the local variable. After calling fun, A is still five. So what is going on here is the statement A equals seven has no effect on the variable A outside the function. Okay, so what we have here, we have A as a local variable and we have A as a global variable. A global variable is a variable that is outside all functions. The function fun here has no effect on the global variable. It has its own variable that is called also A, but it's totally different from the A outside. So what is going on exactly in memory is the following. We will start by this line. This will create A with value five. Then you will execute the sprint statement, right? Remember, we don't execute function definition. So you will execute the print statement and you will print this A, which is five. Then you will call fun. Now, when you call fun, you will have a, spe a special space in memory just for the function fun. In this space, you will have A equal to seven. And when you print inside fun A, you are printing this variable. So I'm printing seven. When I come back from the function and I print A again, now remember if you exit a function, everything, that was created inside the function is deleted. So what do you have? You have just this global A and your brand five. Okay. Now let's take another example. This could be the same code. And let's remove this line here. Now, what do you think will, will happen when I run this? Is A going to be undefined because you don't have A inside the function? Actually, no. If you don't have A as a local variable inside the function, Python will look for a global variable with that name. So Python will use the global variable. This is why you have inside fun A is equal to five. Okay. Now let's take the same example again. Now this time I want to have I want to be able to change the global A from inside fun. So I would like the output basically to be five, seven, seven. So after I finish with the function, A will be, the global A will be seven. Now, how do I do this? Let's see. In order to change a global variable from inside a function, you have to add this line to the function definition, global, it's a keyword, then the variable name. Now, when you do this and you run, you see that we have 577. What is going on here is the following. So in memory, you will start by this line. You have A equal five. Remember we said this is a global variable. Then you will execute this print statement, which will print five. Then you will call fun. Now fun is, uh, fun has this statement in the beginning, which is global A. This statement means whenever you see A inside the function, we are just using the global, the global variable A. We are not creating our own local variable. So when I write A equals seven, the global variable A will have a new value seven. We don't have a local variable in this case. So inside fun, I will print seven. Then after calling fun, I will print A, the global one, which is now equal to, to seven. All right, that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.